so today let's learn about the periods esophagus and this condition is seen generally at the lower end of the esophagus if this is the esophagus and stomach it is seen generally at the lower end of the esophagus we know generally uh, the esophagus have stratified squamous epithelium so uh, due to a condition called as reflex esophagitis, there is conversion of stratified columnar uh, squamous epithelium into the columnar epithelium. This is the columnar epithelium. So, this reflex esophagitis means there is reflex of the gastric juice into the esophagus. Due to repeated uh, reflex into the esophagus, there, there is changes in the epithelium so there is change from the stratified squamous epithelium to the columnar epithelium and this columnar epithelium is called as Barrett's epithelium okay so this Barrett's epithelium that is columnar epithelium in esophagus is a pre-malignant condition so it can uh, uh, undergo dysplasia and finally uh, carcinoma in situ and uh, uh, cause esophageal adenocarcinoma so it is a precancerous condition that Barrett's esophagus is a precancerous condition so uh, we know now due to reflex esophagitis there is formation of Barrett's esophagus but what causes reflex esophagitis is sliding hiatus hernia in the last video I have shown what is sliding hiatus hernia you can see this is the sliding hiatus hernia in this part of stomach produced to the diaphragm uh, in a bell shape so this condition is called as sliding hiatus hernia it may cause the reflex esophagitis and chronic gastric ulcers nasogastric intubation vomitings frequent vomitings can cause uh, reflex from the stomach into the esophagus so there may be this change and neuropathy in alcoholics and uh, diabetics also can cause reflex esophagitis so this is about the barrett's esophagus uh, so next we see the morphology so in histology we, uh, i mean generally in gross we can see red velvety appearance of the barrett's esophagus uh, you can see other videos where they do the endoscopy and see and in histology there is stratified squamous epithelium is changed into columnar epithelium which contain goblet cells which secrete mucus so so this is a uh, why it is changing generally uh, if we see this goblet cells will secrete mucus so to protect the uh, epithelium I mean mucosa and everything from the damage of the gastric content uh, the this uh, the change will occur so that uh, more mucus uh, will help in preventing the damage so next and also dysplastic changes may be seen and inflammatory changes are seen in long-term condition there will be development of stricture uh, strictures and this is about the histology um yeah this is about the barrett's esophagus okay